Hi everyone, Mimi here. Thank you so much for joining me for another video on my YouTube channel. If you've been watching the trend lately in the card making industry, slimline cards are all the rage. Many stamp companies have come out with their own version of slimline dies, but in case you don't have any in your collection yet, I wanted to show you a very simple way to create not only the card base, but a coordinating policy envelope. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's create a slimline card base. Unlike an A2 size card, there are varying measurements that card makers use. My measurements are to fit inside the envelope that we'll be creating a little later in this video. First, take a piece of heavyweight cardstock and cut it down to 7 and 3 quarters by 8 and 7 eighths. The cardstock I'm using is Nina Solar White in the 110 pound version. In your scoreboard, with the seven and three quarters inch across the top, we are going to go ahead and score it in the middle at three and seven eighths. So that is one notch right before the four inches. Now we'll go ahead and fold and burnish on our score line. I'm using my Teflon bone folder to get a really sharp crease. And that's it. This measures three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. Now let's move on to the matching policy envelope. The finished size is the same as a number 10 business envelope, which measures four and one eighth inches by nine and three eighths inches. You'll need a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock to create this envelope. Cut this piece to 9 and 1 8 inches by 12 inches. Go ahead and grab your scoreboard and we'll place our cardstock piece with the 9 8 inch across the top and we will score this at 2 inches and at 6 and 1 8 inches. I do apologize that you can't see the measurements at the top. I did not realize it was off screen. Now go ahead and rotate your cardstock with the 12 inches across the top and we'll score this at 1 and 5 8 inches and at 11. And that's all the scoring we'll need to do. Go ahead and fold and burnish on all your score lines and then we'll do some cutting. To make it easier to see, I'm going to pencil in the areas we need to cut away. You'll be removing the portions that I've marked with an X. So go ahead and remove the four sections and then we can finish assembling the envelope. This is what your cut piece should now look like. Before adhering the side flaps, I make sure that the angles match up nicely and don't have an overhang. As you can see, my right flap kind of is above my left one. I'm going to go ahead and just trim off that little bit so that they match up evenly. I'm now taking my corner chomper and rounding the corners of my flap using the half inch side. To adhere my side flap and my bottom flap closed, I'll be using my quarter inch score tape. Feel free to use any type of adhesive that you'd like. I just really like my score tape because it has a very, very strong hold. Using my Teflon bone folder, 
I'm going to burnish that tape down really well. I'll then remove the release paper and adhere the two side flaps together first and then fold up the bottom flap. To close this up, you can create a typical policy envelope closure or more simply, using your glue of choice, just adhere it shut after you put the card inside. And here is your finished slimline envelope. This will hold your slimline card very nicely. I hope this video was helpful and will be your go-to resource when you're creating your next slimline card. I'll be creating some on my channel in the very near future, so if that interests you, I hope you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit the bell notification so that YouTube notifies you each time I upload a new video. On screen are a couple more videos that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a great day.